Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to be giving some gameplay and my thoughts on the brand new Forza Horizon 5 European Automotive Car Pack. Now this car pack literally just released today as part of the Euro European Automotive uh, update or whatever. And it comes with four new cars, those being the 2020 Batista Automobili something something. Uh, that's an electric car, I believe. I actually have a Hot Wheels of it on my desk, but this is actually in Forza Motorsport already, which is kind of cool, I guess. Then we have the, I don't know which year, 2021 Bentley Continental GT Convertible. Um, I, I'm all for more convertibles. I think they're pretty cool. Although it does kind of annoy me when they leave the uh, side windows up in Forza when you put the roof down. It's kind of annoying. Then we have the 2019 Jaguar XESV Project 8. I think that's going to be pretty cool to actually drive around a couple circuits, like the one on the east, or not the east coast, the west coast of the map that goes around that little hill. That would be pretty cool. And then we got the wagon version of the AMG um, Hammer Coupe, so that's really cool. Um, this thing, honestly, is going to be very fun to drive in my opinion. So overall, I think the car selection is pretty interesting. Although, to be honest, the Batista vehicle, or however you want to pronounce that, probably should have just been in the festival playlist, since it's not really new to Forza, but I don't know, it's still kind of cool regardless. So, uh, I guess without further ado, let's just uh, get into these cars.
And there you have it, those were all the brand new vehicles in the Forza Horizon 5 European Automotive Car Pack. Now, for starters, I'd say this is a decent car pack. Um, first off, we got the Batista Automobili Pinferina. Now, this thing is pretty powerful, I mean, 1800 horsepower. It does weigh a lot, though, for like a hypercar, but it is electric, so that's probably why. It looks pretty cool, in my opinion. And then the Bentley Continental, it is a pretty nice looking car. I mean, Bentleys have always looked nice. I mean, if you look at like a 2024, or I mean, a 2004 Bentley Continental, it'll still look pretty modern. So that they they always look really nice, but uh, I mean, it weighs a lot, but it's a Bentley, that's why. But uh, no fault to the Bentley. I'm not really sure why Forza developers keep making it so those convertible cars will have their side windows still rolled up when the roof is down. That really annoys me. That like ruins the Gallardo Spider for me when they brought that back, so I really hope they stop doing that. Just kind of makes the car look weird, but it's a pretty cool car. The Jaguar, um, Project 8 or whatever, it is super cool. I think this thing blacked out and going around the track could look really cool. Might be kind of a basic color configuration, but I still think that would be really cool. Um, the AMG Hammerwagon is probably my favorite car in the car pack. And, I mean, that's because almost 400 horsepower in... Uh, the 1980s is kind of crazy, plus we don't really have any, like, wagons in the game, I guess. I mean, I guess the closest to that would be, like, the Dodge SRT Magnum or whatever from the car pass. That thing's really cool, so it's cool we have a Mercedes version, sort of, kind of, of, like, a performance station wagon. Plus it's the uh, wagon version of the Hammer Coupe, which is super cool, in my opinion. I always love having variants of other vehicles in the game, which is always really cool. So uh, overall, I would give this car pack a, I'd say a 7.5 out of 10, just because the Batista probably should have been a festival playlist vehicle, but um, otherwise, I think it's pretty good. So um, with that being said, I guess if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, my next video will probably be either on WWE 2K or probably another Horizon 5 car pack video, because they like to make a lot of these now, I guess. I mean, our total's up to 7 now, if you don't really count the two launch car packs. And I've just been disconnected. So, uh, yeah, I guess, um, see you in the next video. It's about everything.